Okay, this is going to be a beginner tutorial for starting with Twine. So the first thing you want to, you're going to want to do is create yourself a storyboard. And the way Twine works, you're, you know, it's choose your own adventure, so you need to make choices. And in this case, I've created a storyboard with three levels, right? So one, two, three. And we're going to code in Twine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and start Twine up. Now, if you don't have a story yet, um, you'll come to something where you're going to click plus, and I'm, I'm going to do that, add a story. And I'm just going to call this test two. So right now I have nothing going on. So back here, I also created some example code for you to use. So if you click here, you can just copy and paste this in to get started. So you're going to highlight and cl click on the edit button. Um, if you don't want to see all this, click that. So I'm going to paste that in. Oops. There we go. And I also want to give this a better name than Untitled Passage. So I'm going to call it the start. So when I click out of here, you'll see that now I have these two choices. And the way those got get made was with these brackets. So when you type brackets in, you get to add choices. So maybe I could run away. Um, so you'll notice that I now have a new choice. So if you don't like that choice, you can delete it. Um, one thing you'll have to do though is also delete it from um, here, otherwise it's gonna have an error. The other thing you can do is start playing and testing out your story. So I'm gonna play it and you'll notice I got an image here and then I have the link to go to the next thing. And of course I have to complete the story, but let me show you how I got the image. The image is this tag right here. So this is actually HTML. So IMG says image, this is how big it's gonna be. And then I just went and looked up a uh, image um, of a prince and uh, you just copy and paste the whole URL here. So wherever you get it, um, let me go over here and I'll just look up butterfly. And images. And now I like to try to use uh, ones with Creative Commons license. So it's, I know it's okay for me to um, use that image. I can tell you Pixabay images uh, often don't work very well. So I'm not gonna pick one of those. Let me just pick this one. And what you wanna do is go open image in new tab. And then this is the URL you wanna copy. I'm going to copy that, go back here, and I don't want to get rid of the quotation. Oops, I don't want to get rid of the quotation marks. I need to leave those. Um, so now when I play this, the butterfly image should be there instead. Great. And then if I wanted to make it bigger, I could update the width. The other thing I want to do is give credit to where I got the image. So um, if I go back here, where did I get this image? It's not Google. Google is never a site. Uh, Wikimedia Commons. So I can type that here. And then I've given credit where credit is due. Okay, now um, I'm going to carry on with my story. So let's see. Back to my story. When I pick the horse, I fight dragons or race knight. Okay, so I'm going to go here type some paragraph about the story, and then fight dragon. Was it fight dragon? Yeah, or race knight. All right, and now those choices have shown up. Now the important thing with choose your own adventure is you need to know when you've lost or when you've won. So I think in both of these cases, I lost. Um, but I want to show you what happens if, if, if you won or if you want to restart the story. I guess even if you lost, you can restart the story. So let's say I do this and it's going to say, sorry, you lost. And then to go back, I can, what did I call this? Start the start. There we go. 
I can type the starts and it should, yep, you can see now there's a line back. So if I take this, this pathway, the horse and then the dragon, sorry, you lost, and then I can go back to the start and start over again. So that's a very basic of what you can do with this. Now, let's say you wanna make it a little more interesting. I'm gonna go back to the sample code. You can update the style sheet. So the style sheet is uh, something, again, this is uh, related to building web pages. It's called CSS. And so I'm gonna copy, and copy this. And in this case, I wanna go down here to this little triangle and I wanna edit story style sheet. So I'm gonna paste this. This is gonna give me different fonts. So if you search for Google fonts, um, you can look for things and get this at import. In fact, I guess I'll just do that real quick. Google fonts. All right, so let's say you find one you like, like this, and then you want to look for, it's always changing. Select the style, there we go. And import. So you want this particular line. To there, oh, to there, I guess. Oh, yeah, you just want that whole thing. Um, if you were to, let me try that. All right, and then um, see, so yeah, I had Laura, it was Laura there before, so I would need to say this new name, which is that. Uh, the weird thing is when it's in the import, it has that plus. When it's not, I need to put a space and put this in quotes. And then I'm also changing the font size and the background color. So you can uh, choose different colors. Some of them, you know, will be actual names, but you can also go and do something called color picker and get what's called the hex value and put it in. I don't think I want that color. Let's say that one. All right, and so I can put that here. Okay, let's see how it looks. Ah, blue background now. Um, you can see I have this new font. So you can play around with that if you would like. And then finally, if you really want to challenge, um, you could uh, add some sound effects, but you know, obviously that's not necessary. The thing you are going to want to know is how to share your story. So once you feel like your story is good to go and you're ready to share it, then you're going to click on that uh, triangle again and publish to file. This will download some, you know, the, the name of the thing .html, and then that is the file um, that you can add to a Padlet, to a website, um, to somewhere, anywhere on a web that then you'll be able to play it for others. All right, have fun.